what I have in front of me is it's running on batteries is the 765 wing with a Matek M9 N5883 GPS connected to it. Uh, so if we go up here, COM5 115-200 connect. I have that in the system with UART2. And for all that, for that GPS, all you have to do is come to sensors and click the drop down list and then GPS save and reboot. Then you come down the configuration. It's as simple as enabling the GPS, U blocks protocol. Uh, I don't know how the rest of this works. I'm still learning it myself. I'm using Galileo satellites. Save and reboot. That's it. Uh, right here you'll see that there are messages. Oops. Ah. <laughs> okay, I give up. I can't just click the four. So total messages. I'm having trouble in my shop. I'm in a basement. Lots of dirt around the outside of the basement. Three walls. Only one end is even open at all. So I'm not getting good GPS reception here. So I'm going to back off for just a second. Disconnect. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to disconnect my USB cable. This is the telemetry radio for uh, 915 megahertz. I'm going to connect it to the 765 wing. There we go. And that's the same setup as when I was doing the 765. The compass is just a little, and GPS is just a little different. Uh, I have all six wires in this connector. It's wired up the same as for a UART port, the same as I wire up any GPS. So now I've put the uh, telemetry radio on the uh, 765 wing. Oops. Plug in my telemetry, other ground telemetry radio to my computer. And we'll power up. And now that we have power to the telemetry radio, We'll go back to our screen up here, and we see we now see COM3 on the ports because I plugged in my 915 megahertz telemetry radio to the computer. Uh, I need to drop this down to 57600 and click connect. There we go. <laughs> now, this has become a USB cable for me, so I can work with this stuff, and... Uh, Let's me keep working with this. So again, we see here we rebooted a couple of times, but we still have 410, 434. We have messages going back and forth, and we have a blue GPS up here. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to power down. I'm going to pick up this whole mess. <laughs> by the battery. I'm going to turn the power off on it actually. Yep, the power's off. Take my camera out of its mount. <laughs> and I'm kind of carrying the flight controller <laughs> as if it was the spine out of a trophy in Predator. Some of the problems I've been having with my GPS 
is it just doesn't work in my basement. <laughs> so we'll come out here, sit all this gently down. And we'll turn the power switch back on. And we'll leave that there. Go back to my workbench through the jungle. Okay. Now then. Boy, a lot of work. I guess I don't have anything to show you on the table anymore, do I? So we'll go up here to the screen. Um, 357 600 connect so now it's outside on a battery and I've got that other USB cable on it yard 7 yard 2 yeah okay we're good so now we click GPS bada bing bada boom there we are we have nine satellites we have uh, GPS acquisition of satellites. I don't know what more you could ask for. Nine sats, 3D fix. There we go. So we're going to disconnect. I'm going to bring my uh, flight controller back in here. Okay, we got it back in. I'm going to hook USB to it. So technically this is the telemetry radio and the GPS. COM5 115-200 firmware flasher. We're going to flash the Ardu plane. We're going to load firmware from a local source. This is the Ardu Plane current version with bootloader. That's what the BL stands for that I got off of Ardu Pilot.org site. Flash firmware. Racing. So this uh, GPS again is hooked up on UART 2. Oh, it's supposed to be able to see four constellations at the same time and hook up hmm, approximately 10 more satellites than most other GPSs, but we'll see over time. Hard for me to test it here at the house because being down in the basement under dirt and on top of a hill and such and in woods, I'm not in a real good position to... testing a GPS down here okay all of that's done programming successful we can shut down I now we'll power down the flight controller by disconnecting the USB cable and we'll let it reboot the next time I power it back up I'll get my ground telemetry radio ready. We'll go ahead and power this up. I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, knock out both the GPS and the telemetry radio in this video. We'll load up Mission Planner. That is my radio, 57600, connect. Getting parameters. This is a brand new, fresh install of our do playing current version. 
I can already tell you that the telemetry radio is working perfectly because I don't have a USB cable plugged into it. I'm using the telemetry radio right now to communicate data to my computer and display it in Mission Planner on my screen. I can also see that my GPS is working because it says no GPS fix instead of no GPS at all. So I'm going to disconnect, power down my uh, build here, and we're gonna take it back outside. Sorry about that. Now the whole shooting match is sitting outside. We'll connect again and turn back on. I turned it back on after I laid it on the thing. And I can already see GPS, 3D fix, 12 satellites. We're finished. That's how you get a GPS to work on a 765 wing in Ardu Plane version 4.0.9. You don't have to do anything. Just the same wiring up that I did on the... Well, the wiring's always the same. Whether it's INAV or Ardu. Once the hardware works in one, it should work in the other. I bet. Sometimes there are little quirks that you have to... Air position. Horizontal variance. Yeah... 14 satellites though, 15, what, 18, watch that GPS go. Uh, so that is a good GPS. Uh, when I was flying before my sabbatical, <laughs> I uh, would just be drooling if I had seven or eight satellites hooked up. Okay, that was nine years ago. <laughs> A lot has changed. So that's a good 19 satellite GPS fix. This is a, just a bare install of Ardu Plane 4.0.9. And I'm proving that the telemetry radio that we had to go inside iNav and set up on UART 7. MSP and then drop the baud rate to 57600 and our new plane you just plug it in uh, a GPS that I wired up as a UART to transmit and receive pins to UART 2 and actually the compass is in it I can't turn it right now with it sitting out in the yard. Uh, the compass in it's wired up to the I squared C port. And I now have to go in at UR2 and tell it MSP again. And that's all I have to do there. And I have to configure it inside the configuration. I have to configure the GPS inside there too. In our new plane, you just plug it in. You don't do anything else. It works. Uh, so I'm going to wrap that up right here. Uh, I don't have any other need or see anything else I need to say. That, that GPS, that wiring, that flight controller, two pieces of software, iNav, and our new plane. Mission Planner under our new pilot project works.